What is up, everyone in the Ripple and XRP community? Good morning. Happy Thursday, August 12th, halfway through August already. It feels like the month just started. Where, oh, where does time go, my friends? Nobody knows. Listen, we got that hurricane looking to hit Florida. I am hoping it misses. I'm hoping it's at least just a tropical storm because that just means it's another rainy day in Florida. I'm kind of on the fence. Do I go to the store and buy some goods? Do I not go to the store? I do have a case of water. I don't really know. I don't think it's going to come up. Time will obviously tell. I think it's just going to be a lot of rain. But of course, living in Florida, this is something you need to keep your eyes on. Anyways, listen. Yesterday, amazing price action, right? XRP was on the run. It was leading the way. It was pushing through and charging. Once again, XRP has taken control. Big, big things are coming. This is nothing. Listen, a dollar, an XRP for a dollar doesn't get me out of bed in the morning. A cup of coffee does, but not XRP for a dollar. This is nothing, people. I'll start getting excited when we break a dollar ninety-six. I'll get really excited when we break the all-time high. But this is definitely a great start. You love to see the total market cap coming up to that tri two trillion dollar mark. I'm gonna go over a couple of TA charts for you in this video. One from a newcomer you probably never heard of, but I do like what he's saying. It caught my attention. The other one is from the man himself, Jay. I'm going to go over Jay's charts. I'm going to go over his chart he put out a couple of weeks ago compared to his newest chart. Everything is going to come down to the close this month. This month, the target to close above is 0.745 cents. Yes, we are holding above right now, but you know how crypto goes. It can be a bloodbath the next day and everyone's in panic. Enough about that. Let's get into it. As always, make sure you give me a follow on Twitter, XRP News underscore at 69,000. So close to 70K. I know we're going to get there. The markets are heating back up. People are waking up. People are becoming active again. I am so close to crossing over 100,000 subs between Twitter and YouTube. Thank you to each and every one of you. Never thought I would be here, you know, a year ago. But hey, it is what it is. Love to see it love to do it make sure you give me a like and subscribe on the page also check out the patreon and check out the b network link is in the description of this video b network just like pi listen free crypto legit free crypto how can you turn down free crypto you have to hit a button once every 24 hours just to keep it active you don't need to keep it open it doesn't eat up your data plan all that lovely good stuff join the network start mining the b token for free and hey and hey, listen, when B Networks goes live, you're going to be ahead. You'll even have 200, 2,000. Who knows? Who cares? But that's free money at that time. Why wouldn't you do it? So let's jump right into the TA. Oh, let's look at XRP first. XRP is a buck. Listen, it was up about 40% in the past seven days. I mean, almost. Well, not almost. It is. It was doubled than what Bitcoin, Ethereum, and BNB, the top three coins, did over the weekly. You're looking at about 18% across the board for the top three. XRP was at 40. It's currently sitting at 38, 39%. What does that tell you? People are waking up. We move over to first, my man, Brooks Racing. Add XRP on my face. Love it. Love the name. He says it's still early to call the daily, but, but may possibly fall back to 80 cents to reload. Get ready to load the boat if so. I'm all aboard. I'm with them. Listen, what we had yesterday, that move up, that 20, 25% move up, uh, let's really call it a little bit of a parabolic move. You know what? Once they do these parabolic moves, they need to come back. They need to cool off. They need to find some, their resistance or their retrace levels. So, 80 cents. That was a key level. That was a key level for XRP to break by. I wouldn't be surprised if we go back and we test that 80 cent mark and then we shoot back up. Time will tell. It's a little too early, but listen, just the fact that he mentioned me in the tweet with the BC backer, Kevin Cage and XRP and Crypto Wolf himself, I feel honored. Thank you, sir. Love the chart. Now we're going to move over to my man, Jay. Listen, if you're not following JD underscore 757, first, you go follow him right now. Second, you let him know that Ripple Van Winkle sent you over. I want to review two of his charts. Okay. The first one he put up. July 31st, not too long ago, okay? 
monthly candle closed with a bullish hammer. I'm one of the few bears that called XRP from 37 cents to 64 cents. I know many of you have seen this, but for all the new people coming to the channel, because this is going to set us up for his other chart that we're about to go over. And yes, that $50 target is in play and it's going to be even more in play if we get the close we're looking for this month above 74 and a half cents so jay said he was the only one when xp was a dollar 29 he told you this thing was going to correct back down 37 64 cents it did he got hate you want to know why he got hate because you have these other crypto ta people out there who are absolutely clueless but the only reason the only difference here between jay and his 5,000 followers and these other crypto ta and they're not even influencers. These other TA BS analysts is that they only tell you the price is going up and they make out up these unrealistic predictions. I think you know who I'm talking about. One of them got bull in the name. Yeah. He draws triangles and he tells you, well, in the next two weeks, XRP is going to run to $10. Of course he's wrong because he hasn't been right in the past three years. But people like to see that. That's the type of stuff people click on. They see that. It's like, oh my God, this is great. What does he know? And they follow. But you know what happens in two weeks? The price actually doesn't move or it goes down. So you know what he says? He goes, well, we're still raging and he extends his triangle. Well, still in my triangle, so this is still in play. But now it's actually going to be $15. And you're like, oh, wow, the triangle's still going. He's now saying 15. He has to be right one of these times, right? TA's 50-50. It's a crapshoot out there. You either right or you're wrong. Well, people like him are nothing but hype. They are poison. They hurt the community. They hurt people's self-esteem because they get everyone built up, riled up. They think that this thing's going to pop overnight and it's going to go from a dollar to ten dollars when you wake up. That's not how this thing works. In between a dollar and ten dollar are a lot of resistant points and there's a lot more numbers in there. For example, two dollars, three dollars. That has to run by those before it can even see a ten dollar XRP. So keep yourself level-headed, keep yourself grounded, follow someone like Jay, okay? Jay isn't telling you this thing's going to shoot up overnight. No, Jay is telling you, listen, we're at $1.29. We're going to go back down because we need to go back down because we need to retest previous levels. He was right. Then he put out his chart, okay, back in July. He said $14 plus is coming. He called a bullish reversal soon. We got a bullish reversal, right? Look at his newest chart. Let me blow this up. And as that loads, he says if XRP closes above the 0.745 on the monthly, the bullish hammer is confirmed. And technical uh, and TA hammer confirmation occurs if the candle following the hammer close above the closing price of the hammer. So we just had the hammer close, as you can see in his other chart. So now we need the hammer confirmation to go down this month if we close above the 0.0745 strap the moon boots because september we are flying we're getting settlement in september this price is going parabolic all the way into january you're going to see a 10 dollar plus xrp mark my words i've been saying it for almost a year now people it's coming let's see if his chart's going to pull up because i would love to read his notes for us let me adjust this down if it lets me it's not gonna let me all good it says the rsi level 53 in the monthly has been strong support and resistance for the past seven years we just bounced off that level again the monthly candle just created a bullish hammer candle it could even count as a dragonfly doji both signals capitulate by sellers to form a bottom and price reversals his targets are eight dollars fourteen dollars and 50 plus dollars in the coming year. Pay attention, people. If you've been looking at Jay's charts for quite some time, you can see. You can see that this is not a hype boy. That this is a man that knows what he's doing, that knows how to charts, that shows you the up and downs. He shows you the best of both worlds. And then my man, Lord Light now puts this out. XRP is expanding into a $300 billion gaming industry. More use case, more expansion for XRP. And then Stellar is trying to get it, trying to copy Ripple's flow. Looks like they're going to enable the Thailand European Cross Border Payments Network. Very, very interesting. And then listen, my man, Mike Manfield, here's his tweet to feed at Michael Manfield, put out some fire tweets this morning. His first one 
which we covered yesterday, but is finally being picked up by the PR. Finextra picked this one up. SBI Ripple Asia has opened as payments corridor between South Korea and Thailand. This is big time. I know we went over this yesterday, but Finextra finally grabbed a part of this an hour ago. So this is finally hitting the news outlets. And then Mike Manfield puts this out again. Ripple's partner Astro Pay in London is expanding. This is interesting. Then Extra put this out. Here's the article. It says Astro Pay, the global leader in online payment solution, has launched its digital payment service to the European market. Following a period of significant growth for the business, which has seen its users emerge as increase exponentially. Founded in 2009, Astro Pay has been successful in providing payment solutions to customers across Asia, Africa, and Latin America. And the launch of its offering in Europe is part of its ambitious global expansion plans, which have been informed directly by customer feedback. Astro Pay will be offering its service to customers in the UK, Spain, and Portugal initially. So, why am I telling you about this Astro Pay? Back in 2014, Astro Pay teamed up with Ripple for digital payments in Latin America. Looking at opening the gateway in North America, Europe, and Asia. This is back in 2014. Astro Pay is now expanding to the UK, Spain, and Portugal initially. They are expanding their digital presence. What do you think is going on here? It only took them six years to get this payment gateways, to get everything built out, built out for, for RippleNet to get liquidity. And now they are ready to take off and they are ready to utilize this network. We know about Ripple's buildup in North America, Europe, and Asia. We now have AstroPay connecting up there. I don't know what you people are looking at, but you need to open your eyes. It is all happening right in front of them. Each and every day, I am bringing you new corridors, new companies, companies that have been partners of Ripples for the past six years who are finally ready to flip the switch. You know the plan. Dilip Rao told us the plan. First, you get them on RippleNet. You have them moving money via Xcurrent and getting used to blockchain. Then you move them over to sourcing liquidity through XRP. And then the holy grail is to have them buy and hold XRP on their order books. We are currently moving from phase one, just using the network, to starting to use XRP and on-demand liquidity. This is big news. The ultimate plan, the master plan, the plan of all plans is coming to life. Here's Astral Pay's website. Listen, I'm going to get onto my Patreon later today. Later this morning, I'm going to create a little fun fact dot connecting experience between Ripple, Astral Pay, and these corridors. I also have an email out to the owner of this company. Asking them to confirm, which will be released on the Patreon once again and answer back. The Patreon account is about to heat up. It's about to get fiery. I'm about to add a new service. It's going to be the ultimate service where you will have access to schedule bi-weekly calls with myself to discuss crypto, to discuss nodes other coins you want me to look into to talk about exit plans, to talk about where we're going, answer any questions that you do have. My DMs are overflowed, overfilled. I can't keep up, but I need to put the people who, who are out in front, who are following, who have questions, who've been long-term followers. I need to figure them out. I need to help them out the most. Pay attention to what's going on. This is going to be an absolute monster. I'm going to leave it at that. Listen, it's Thursday. Tomorrow's payday Friday. Wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind to of each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.